watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hi! Welcome to Heat Wave. It's the kids and seek of a podcast that's kind of about video games. I'm joined with Brittany Saturn. Hello. At the hip. <laughs> and Jairus is somewhere on the internet. Uh, oh, just He's floating surfing. and lurking. He's I'm surfing, surfing. on the keyboard. <laughs> oh, God, don't make... No. And then we're also joined by oh, Chris. It's point. the Hutch Hutcherson. Help, I'm stuck in the World Wide Web and I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just stuck in like a web of information. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the Matrix uh, thing with all the little ones and zeros and like shit coming down. Yes, I remember that scene. Yeah, he's stuck in that. <laughs> that Guys. iconic scene where shit just came down. Uh huh. Do you feel like with this setup, with the quarantine setup, which is just me and you on screen right now, do you feel like we're a high school like news reporter? Absolutely. I feel like every time. <laughs> so it's like the beginning of that uh, Spider Man movie, except not as good. Yeah. So if exactly. you two were <laughs> a high school news broadcast, which segments would each of you take? I would um, talk about the lunch menu. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what we talked about at the new, at the high school news. And, uh, I, I, I would probably just be like national days and how they correlate with like school holiday things. That's not a thing. Because you know I would do that. <laughs> oh, you're saying you would just make that up? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see that. Michelle I'll, would I'll, try to do hard-hitting journalism, but then just like lose interest halfway through. <laughs> you will th- my fa- we would actually had that in my high school because we had like three uh people get fired for pedophilia so that was fun oh god oh yeah three of my teachers in the same day just kind of vanished wow and one of them was my pe teacher at the time wow what did you guys do for pe we, we 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 had a pe- <laughs> we had a I pizza mean, party how would you even like, i'm not shitting you they came in with a pizza party absolutely. for everyone well, sorry that mr so-and-so diddled y'all but here's some free pizza <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> God, rather than so, so being sorry. active <laughs> let's be the opposite of that good old mayberry <laughs> knowing myself so in how's high school i'd probably do <laughs> like a segment on the best places to smoke around campus Mm. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd mislead the authorities, knowing that they were watching the newscast. Perfect, I like it. The, the authorities being the school resource officer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, weirdly, at my high school, it was also the gym teachers. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Wait, they gave the gym teachers a gun? No, 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 no. They were the ones <laughs> oh. that tried to find kids smoking Wait, because they had the excuse least me. to do. And they didn't have Did to, like, your write school resource plans. teacher have a gun? Yeah. No, they're, yeah, like, they're cops. pretty sure he did. They yeah, but he was a cops. legit like sheriff. Yeah. Yeah, like our school resource teacher was like someone from the sheriff's office and he definitely had a gun. He had a gun and a taser. He tased a kid my senior year. Yeah. Whoa. Mm, we didn't also, have a uh, learning disability exact... child who was triggered in a situation <laughs> and Christ. rather than talking the child down, he just tased him. Yep. Guess Showed the race boss. Of that kid. Not white. Ah, yeah. Yep. Pretty high. Pretty high that it's not white. Well, this is a fun way to start the episode. <laughs> uh, Jairus, what are we talking about today? Like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Listen, minutes. we're all quarantined. <laughs> Nothing is happening. Like, things are happening. Let's not pretend yeah. that things aren't happening. Okay. Yeah, but, but it's like, like off topic shit. We're, we're tr- well, it depends on how you qualify off topic. Like, early on, we agreed that we wouldn't talk about the fucking pandemic as much, but that's no. 95% of the news right now. And yeah, yeah like, I yeah. don't give a shit. I've gone out of my way to not learn how elon musk pronounces his child's name because yeah. i just don't give a shit so like yeah i think i'm gonna say about how do we even come up with things to talk about like how like, it just so oh my my cat did a funny thing earlier it was like that's the that's the kind of content i need so that's it was, <laughs> as of today of recording today is mother's day And I called my mom today, and we talked for an hour, and it was great, but the only things he could talk to me about is how much he hates Trump and all this other bullshit. (laughs) And 
And hey, first at least all, that's the place. At least she's not talking about how much she loves him. Oh, she also told me about she voted for Pete Buttigieg, though. But um, <laughs> and I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Out of I, all I of the like options, Joe Biden. But I think he's too old and too spicy. Basically, basically, <laughs> I need a mayonnaise version of Joe Biden, <laughs> one who's definitely not going to get a sexual assault charge because he's gay, at least not from a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let that linger. Thank you, thank you. Was, I I did too, and I was like, I was please, like, everyone else here just also let it, feel like let Michelle live in that place of uncomfortable it's, silence. It's like when you make a steak and you have to let it rest before it's delicious enough to eat. Uh huh. Yeah, you had to let, let your let, statement. Just you know what? I appreciate rest. that. You had to let a good joke steak rest. Those juices stew. <laughs> It's oh, a butter man. basted bad joke. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, it's yeah. really hard to find like what to talk about right now. Like you were saying earlier, um, there's no external stimuli right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Other than just like, oh, people are perishing. <laughs> um, or people are being really dumb and going out in the streets and like spitting on each other or whatever they do with those protests. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. It's like, okay, well, I've been sitting on my couch for the past month. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, that was well, the like, best best thing that happened recently is we, we redid our living room, and we have spent all waking hours in our living room just watching memes. That's what me and Brittany have <laughs> been up to. I mean, that's a good way to live. <laughs> it's just been fantastic. Yeah. I, um, I've been watching my uh, neighbors across the street. Um uh, beautify their front yard and make their Ooh. house look super nice. Uh, yeah. And then mine's just been a dumpster fire because I don't want to go outside. I thought well, you, you were going to the... go a, a rear window direction where you were just watching your neighbors to see, like, to try and figure out if they had or hadn't murdered each other. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I mean, used to... I could. When, when I, I mean... lived there, that's what I did. I just would watch them. I'd make up stories about them. Yeah. Mm. But that couple moved out, and then a lesbian couple moved in. Yep, I met them, and they're, they're, they're well. I met one of them anyway. Show off. <laughs> She's really nice. They both. Yeah, they really are nice. really nice. My favorite I was the neighbors. Met any new people <laughs> in in months? Aren't, aren't you like like required to stay in your house right now because you're like ultra susceptible? Yeah, I have yeah. the part of my immune system that fights infections suppressed. So I mm-hmm. definitely need don't like need to not get this infection that will probably kill me. Yeah, I, and honestly, like that's the most terrifying thing about this. Like I joke, and I honestly, for the most part, I feel like things are okay. Like I'm getting paid still, so yeah. and I'm in the house. Whatever, I can work from home. Things are okay, but well, like I'm just yeah. waiting for like oh the person I know who's dead now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's, I, I hope mean, it's that's not. another uh, layer on top of it is that like all four of us are very goddamn lucky that we are, mm-hmm. that we still have money, like yeah. that we're, mm-hmm. that we're yep. still getting paid. Um, my lady friend and I were talking the other day and she, <laughs> she made a statement like, yeah, it feels like the world is paused. And I was like, yeah, it, it does to me. Um, Mm -hmm. and then my brain started spiraling into that existential dread place of like, oh, but not everyone gets the, like the gets to have it just pause. Yeah. Yeah. For for some people, it has gone backwards for, for some people, reality has slid into, and that's just the point where I start like getting really sad. And thankfully I have. Yeah. Like when you see like someone's like, oh, all of your shit's on fire right now. That sucks. Mm. Like <laughs> it, it really does. Um, I have a few friends who are furloughed indefinitely. We have yeah. like so many people are on unemployment right now. It's a lot of people got unemployment, but are still waiting for mm-hmm. it to come through. Yes, like yeah. they haven't actually gotten the money yet. So, um, yeah, which is real great. You know, it's really easy to pay your rent and buy groceries with imaginary money that might arrive eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, uh, spe- uh, after I've been watching a lot, a, a lot of documentaries about how like the rest of the world is handling this versus us, specifically. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have stayed away from that. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but they're usually like bite-sized content. Uh-huh. Like uh, Vox Media, for example, is just like, "Why does the U.S. have massive unemployment when the U.K. doesn't?" And yeah. and like they were comparing social ne- like social systems. safety net. That's yeah, that's basically part of the answer. It's okay. I mean, it really is, but I'm just like looking around. I'm just like, huh. It, on top of that, though, we also have a bunch of like weird uh, bureaucracy around the COVID testing shit right. that is not the case around the world. That's yeah. been a lot of fun. Yeah, um, John Oliver was just covered like, that one. Mm-hmm. Here are the standards for testing. Everyone go and test everything. Yeah. And honestly, like the uh, the vaccine, whenever it is accomplished and uh, past human uh, trial testing, it's probably not going to come from our country. Well, because that. And and here is a secondary nightmare that I've been been pondering. So like every time a virus jumps host, like it's mm-hmm. it's evolving, it's mutating, it's changing. Um, mm-hmm. That will also happen when the seasons change yeah Mm -hmm. um and it already happened it already happened once the uk like the european and north american and south american uh continent has a mutated version of covid19 than the one that it started at Ooh, wonderful and it's it's why it's like supposedly like even more susceptible really Uh uh-huh Hmm, I didn't know that. So that's been fun. That's a, that's a new discovery in the last like couple, like I believe the last week or so. Yeah. Just we're all news. fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good times. Hey, <clears throat> so and that's why we can't think of a topic. Yeah. Because we're all just like, <laughs> oh fuck, am I gonna die? Or are the people I love gonna die? Mm-hmm. Uh, what is gonna really... happen like long term? Like, yeah. are we gonna have food? Or are we gonna like? I don't know. Just. Who the fuck knows? I just want to see my mom and dad again, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Yeah. But we're lucky enough right now. We actually have Brittany's uh, little sister staying with us, uh, which started this weekend, um, oh, which nice. is nice. We have a so we have someone new to talk to besides me and Brittany. We're yeah. just like, <laughs> cool. We can drive this other person insane and not each other. <laughs> yeah, we traded her off the other day. Um I figured she could be in quarantine at our house just as easily as at her house. So at least it gives everybody something new to talk to or mm-hmm. do or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just COVID rotations. So, yeah. yeah uh, well, I mean, it's a, it's a thing that's happening. I'm seeing a lot of families where like like a lot of kids are like going to their aunt and uncle so they can hang out with their cousins and stuff like that. Mm. So, I mean, and like it's a tiny risk, but if it helps with like overall mental stability and overall like staying yeah. like in quarantine it's that's whatever mm-hmm. well i i have a co-worker he has two small daughters and their neighbor also has two daughters of equivalent age so they're mm-hmm. just treating like their two houses as one mm-hmm. like quarantine community like one one nexus or one hub mm-hmm. that makes um, sense and I, I think it's an interesting idea. It's just like the the number of people that you can can. <laughs> if one person gets compromised, yeah. then the whole unit yeah. gets compromised. Yeah. yeah, it's unfortunate. Like, how much risk are you willing to take for like a sanity? Uh, Absolutely. like thing so it's definitely a balance um like i know we're dealing with that at work with having only so many people uh mm-hmm. being there at a certain time and, and even two still teams. like i have been volunteering and going in a couple days a week but it was still like two or three people um tomorrow it's gonna be up to like six mm-hmm. including myself so that does make me more nervous mm-hmm. you know um but we are required still to stand six feet apart. We do have masks to wear. Um, and they do also, I think there's like some gloves too that we have stockpiled at work for us to wear. Mm-hmm. But it's still like, okay, well, hopefully nobody gets sick, you know, because you're going to get everybody sick and we won't know it for two weeks. That's the other scary thing right. about this whole thing is like, 
we don't know for two weeks. <laughs> so, I mean, I've, uh, it's been about two months since we've been in quarantine for uh, for most of us. And I, w- what is bothering me the most about the whole thing is that when I go outside and I'm like interacting with like I go to the grocery store or something like that, it definitely feels like the end of the fucking world. It feels like a fucking like uh, apocalypse movie that's about to start. Well, my problem right now is that I feel like because people obeyed quarantine for maybe like a month or two Mm. and because they were in quarantine, nothing happened. They haven't been getting sick. So I feel like at this point, people are starting to let their guard down Yeah, and they're going out more frequently than they should be. They're not wearing their masks. They're not staying away from people. And I think that comfort zone is going to get us all in trouble. So oh, that's what I'm worried about, too, with them reopening the state. I know it's just in phases, but still, I think it's like people are like, oh, I don't know. Oh, like, there it's was under a- control. It's yeah. over. Yeah. I had a coworker the other day who was like, I don't know anybody who got COVID. Do you guys even know anybody who got COVID? And I was like, well, no, but that doesn't negate the fact that it's out there and that it's well, dangerous. We, <laughs> one, that's we don't know. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. Yeah, and there's no testing. I, then- I know... Um, a number of people that have gotten it and they've all said that like it's like it it's one of the absolute worst experiences they've ever had yeah so it's like reading what they've had to say and and they and one person has said that like they've still had like lingering like kind of effects from it Mm -hmm. um so well jerry's your sister had it too right well, and the, has yeah, her taste is, and smell came back yet? Um, yeah. So my sister lost her sense of taste and smell for mm-hmm. a week or so after okay. she got over it, um, and and it's come back now. Okay, um, good. But that's at a very unfortunate terrifying. time, <laughs> she made a giant uh, thing of like a, a a giant pot of beans that she was mm-hmm. going to eat for like a week. Um, uh-huh. and apparently she burned it and she didn't taste it because she couldn't smell her taste. And then her senses oh, came back and she was like, ah, fuck, I screwed these beans up. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> but part of the thing is it interacts with different age cohorts in different ways. It, it interacts mm-hmm. with different groups of people in different ways. So like there is no single unified set of symptoms associated with it. And that's part mm-hmm. of what makes it mm-hmm. terrifying because a lot of it is just like, oh, you feel like shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So are you feeling like shit because you've got allergies or you have like a light cold or are you feeling like shit because you've got a thing that might kill you? Yeah, and that's that's really terrifying especially with the just like random sicknesses that people get just because on they're alive mm-hmm. it happens yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and also with allergy season too yeah i've been I've, avoiding I had a couple outside. of times where at the back of my throat i was getting like drainage and my throat was hurting and i was getting the sniffles and i was like oh fuck i'm dying like <laughs> which any other time any other year it, i would have been like oh it's allergies or i'm getting right. a cold no big deal but now I'm like, oh, God, am I getting sick? Like, have I caught it somewhere? But it was just allergies, but it, like, freaked me out, you know? Every and time I open a window or walk outside, I regret it. Mm-hmm. Mm. That well, fresh uh, air uh, just burns your skin. <laughs> yeah. That pesky oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> that vitamin D. <laughs> so, like, moments like this have been actually been really beneficial for me. I've just, like, had, like, moments of brevity with random friends on yeah. the internet and uh go ahead and give us a little bit more time if we want but um yeah it, this it honestly decisions. yeah this this has been the uh like the lifesaver for me so it's being like yeah this sucks with random people and that's been helping quite a bit for me um i i haven't we haven't done the movie thing for the last couple of weeks but we should probably get back into that yeah, too we should do that this a uh, week so <clears throat> I would, um, ever since this has started, like, my sometimes my sleep schedule gets kind of wonky. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's never been more wonky than it is right now. Like, yeah. I, I have, uh, been kind of sometimes going to sleep or falling asleep at like three or earlier and then waking up at nine or later and then. 
This weekend's bad because I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's been good, but it's also been bad because I've been playing it from like midnight to like 10 a.m. Just, mm. just grinding the shit out of it. Yeah, like yesterday I woke up at 6 p.m. and I was just like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, well, there's more Final Fantasy to play. I, I can't say anything. I've been going to bed at like 11 o'clock at night and then getting up at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning and then staying up for like nine hours and then taking another four hour nap in the middle of the afternoon mm. so it's it's, like, it's so weird how not having half. yeah it's so weird how not having like a proper structure in your life really kind of like mm-hmm. affects you like it mm-hmm. has with us i'm surprised that hutch is experiencing that because hutch has worked from home for years on mm. on like less of a set schedule so i thought you'd just be like yeah whatever well, you still have like all the schedules of the people around you too, though. Um, like I, my yeah, my I sleep guess, schedule I guess was. I've f- only I've always regarded Hutch as other like other people schedule agnostic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hutch doesn't give a fuck about what you got going on today. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of love that 14. phrase. <laughs> I want that nap. I want to take that nap. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more like. <laughs> <laughs> I want that on a shirt. I want that nap. I'm gonna take that nap. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 um, every time I like walk through my bedroom, um, I see my bed. And my bed's <laughs> like it's, it's been extreme. It, it, it's, 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 it's your been, best like, friend. It's always there for you. It's kind of like the equivalent of uh, Britney's comfort, like uh, no, um, a weighted blanket. Like yeah. it's comforting. <laughs> it's comfortable. Um, yeah, it's like an unweighted blanket. And it puts blanket. me right to sleep. <laughs> also, I just miss hugs, and the b- beds are the closest Smart. thing to it. Yeah. I hug you all the time. <laughs> I know. But you're not... I need other hugs. Okay. <laughs> like, like uh, getting Brittany, spooned, but by a bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, that's something I didn't realize about myself until this happened, is that uh, I hug everyone. Yeah, and, and I miss you it. You're like, uh, 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 yeah, it's very awkward. <laughs> That's been really weird for me. It's like I want to hug everyone, and I like, nope, <laughs> not yeah. happening right now. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird timeline. <laughs> yeah. We're on the weird one. So, do we think it's because the simulation is breaking down? I don't know. Let's ask Elon Musk and his like Jargle son's name. Do you think <laughs> Jargle um, son? If the do you think aliens have sperm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would what like to. <laughs> I have a video game trailer for you. Okay. <laughs> what? That's where you go. What? <laughs> yeah, you you've seen it. It's called oh, Scorn. God. Oh God! And it's yeah. Sh- 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 show her that uh, between episodes. <laughs> It's so yeah. fucking weird. We're, we're gonna have to show. Th- so there's so many layers to this joke right now. We're gonna have to show that to Rachel too. Nope. <laughs> Where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? Uh, well, I feel like we've covered this topic enough. All right. Bye. <laughs> well, bye everybody. Bye. I need a drink. <laughs> I need a drink after that. Spermy comment. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Congratulations. Congratulations. You Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to that right Smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. I'm just Cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another game of Would You Rather. <laughs> the last one got lost to the internet. The internet goblins ate it. So I have <laughs> new questions for you guys, so that we don't repeat 
so I can throw you off your game. Okay. Um, so the first Smart. one actually is kind of related a little bit to COVID, but... <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, so the first one is, uh, would you rather lose your sense of taste or your sense of smell? Smell. I want, yeah, smell. I enjoy food. So I thought that too, like taste is awesome because you taste your food. But if you couldn't taste, you could eat a lot of healthy food and cut out <laughs> like all of the like bullshit and just be like, I'm going to be fucking healthy. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, well, for me, I see it. Uh, that That's a that's a take. For me, I see it. Hmm. One of the things that you enjoy most in the world is just gone now. Well, now you can enjoy other things like smelling things. I s- <laughs> It's like my thoughts through Brittany's mouth right now. That's yeah. <laughs> I, I really don't feel that way. Yeah, I'd rather lose my sense of taste. Okay, I, that's I why still we're getting I... a live, laugh, love sign for the living room. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go with smell on this one. As much as I would agree with that, I mean, I'm still alive, so I must be doing enough right. Okay. <laughs> He, That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> you know what? That is, oh, you, you just everything you're saying today. I want to put on a t-shirt, Hutch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it happen. I'm Let still alive. Love. I must be doing something right. <laughs> all right, this next one's pretty pretty simple too. Um, would you rather know all the secrets of space or all the secrets of the ocean? Oh, space. 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 I don't give a fuck about the water. That's like but a minuscule part of... I tried to watch of- Sequest DSV, and it is not <laughs> Star Trek, but underwater. It's just like a bunch of wet people swimming around in a boat with a dolphin. Brit- Brittany, did you, I have a question. Did you come up with this fucking question just so you could talk about Waterworld? Um, I wanted to talk about the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Actually. Wow, that shit is spooky. <laughs> okay, I want to know about the ocean. <laughs> okay, because I know what you, I knew what your answer was going to be, but <laughs> you know it was going to be the ocean. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, would you rather have a side of dog treats with every meal or a side of cat food with every meal? <laughs> dog treats. It's got treats in the name. Psychological, like. Yeah, I'm going to go with dog treats like the milk bones. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why is because I used to eat those milk bones when I was a kid anyway. (laughs) You're a fucking raccoon. Whatever. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I've never eaten the milk bones. How do they taste? They're not bad. Well, yeah, but how do they taste? Like Salty. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I think it's just like if if we're talking dry food, it's all just going to be salty bullshit. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's cat food cat could f- be like interpreted as like the wet cat mm. food, which is not great. It's pretty mm. gross, actually. Have you yeah, eaten smells- that? I have not eaten. No, that but stuff. it smells just like vegan meat, which I have eaten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the key I- with veganism is just to eat more vegetables. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, we, tr- we we tried don't like fuck the- with non meat replications. We tried the burger beef and like uh, the burger beef. No, excuse burger me, the beef. beyond the crowd. <laughs> beyond beef. The, 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 yeah, the, the beyond beef. like meat and like we tried to make tacos and it was not good. <laughs> it was not. It's so yeah. as someone yeah. who grew up vegetarian, like mm-hmm. that whole technology has come a long way. But I still think yeah. like if if you want a burger, do a black bean burger. It's, yeah, it's yeah, fucking delicious. absolutely. Yeah, the um, pretty much uh, uh, one of my coworkers was like, "Yeah," when I told him this, he was like, "You should just do a black bean taco. It's way yeah. better." Yeah. yeah, and I was like, just "Okay." Dump a bunch of cumin and onions and peppers. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into I, it, and I've been I've been eating more veggie stuff lately. So I did like the Impossible Whopper when I had it. So so that is I uh, I do like the Impossible Burger. I will say that. <clears throat> But, I'll try um, one outside of the Burger King uh, chain. Yeah, um, I, is that available somewhere? Because so far the only things I see are like the Beyond shit. Yeah, um, Backyard Burger, which I don't know if there's one near you. I see, nah. I see has one, but whenever ever I go there, I don't want to get it <laughs> because yeah, I'd rather, just, if, rather just have a real burger. Yeah, that's just so expensive anyway. It's like if I want to get some good shit, like I'm gonna just get the regular shit. Yeah. Um, 
Look, what was the question? The I totally didn't I answer it. it. Right. Um, would you rather have a side of dog treats with every meal or a side of cat food with every meal? Uh, I guess dog treats since you can vouch for it. So. <laughs> I, can vouch <laughs> I got a friend who says it's how okay. How delicious they are. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, with, my I'd friend tried it. She's still food, here. But only what? if it's the brand of cat food that my cat likes. Oh, okay. So that oh, yeah. the cat could theoretically eat off of my plate. Because she's you a, know what? Bit of a There's... treat whore. There is some legit fantastic cat food out there. It's like that shit that's in the refrigerator that costs a shit ton. Mm-hmm. So I don't like, even if- know how we'd put that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> just just, just a, a picture of your face, Jairus, with a frown and maybe a teardrop. No, just that whole sentence. It's it's like the black and white uh, hot topic T-shirt, but it's just a paragraph of rambling. <laughs> Just a copy pasta on a shirt. <coughs> I, would, I would pay for that. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of merch off this episode. <laughs> All right, so this is where we stuff's won't starting build to get. Sell. <laughs> <laughs> this is where stuff is gonna start getting really weird. So, oh, okay. okay Pop the next the question is: uh, Would you rather have sex with a, a hideously ugly person, like just the worst person that you can think of, mm-hmm. or a beautiful fresh corpse? <laughs> oh, easy, C- fresh corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cross over into necrophilia just mm-hmm. yet. <laughs> um, so I am going to say not a corpse. So you're going to bang Quasimodo? <laughs> yeah. He's got a good yeah, soul. I, I, will, I will go into Quasimodo realm. I mean, yeah. Hutch and I double team in Quasimodo. <laughs> yep. You know Brittany, what? I'll draw go... that art with your new cricket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the corpse. <laughs> cool. Me and Brittany can uh, spit roast the corpse, yep. and then you guys can spit roast the hideous person. <laughs> What's the Eiffel Tower version for the Hunchback of Notre Dame? <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, it's the Eiffel Tower because <laughs> it is just the, the building just itself. I want to fuck the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Would you rather <laughs> fuck the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> Or the Statue of Liberty. Mm-hmm. In its current Obviously, form. Obviously, the Statue of Liberty. Because I love America. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the Statue of Liberty because it's smaller. <laughs> I'm not saying that you have to fit the entirety of it in your butt. <laughs> well, <laughs> then um, I've always wanted to be fucked by the City of Lights. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh God! Uh, I was. I'm going to say Statue of Liberty, but I was going to make a joke saying Eiffel Tower because it has a flared base. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hutch. Perfect. Okay. Would you rather wear Oops. someone else's dirty underwear or use their toothbrush? Dirty underwear. Uh, toothbrush. Yeah, I'm going with toothbrush. <laughs> the toothbrush what, doesn't what, what, bother me as much. I, I put worse things in my mouth. <laughs> what is... So I've done... Uh, <laughs> what constitutes dirty? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe like, they took a shit in them or so something. The, I don't know. <laughs> if it took a shit in it or, took, or has like pissed in their pants Who, or whatever to know that's the gamble so it's like, I'm, they if, it, if, if it's assuming, just like a sweaty pair of underwear yeah if or it's maybe a, they just wore them and nothing bad happened then but. that <laughs> so that's yeah I'm, I'm assuming standard use in this mental <laughs> model use. yeah so like if it's brushing standard teeth use, that's like twice whatever. a day uh or wearing underwear for a day yeah and i'm kind of I the would, i'm yeah I would Rain rather wear underwear. someone's <laughs> someone's underwear that they wore for a day than use their toothbrush, which they have used for uh, I don't know how long, maybe years, without <laughs> cleaning. Uh, yeah. When I was in middle school, I got invited to this girl's party that I didn't like. Um, I don't think she liked me either. I don't know why I was there, but I went anyway. And that night before we went to bed, I realized I forgot my toothbrush and I used her toothbrush. And I was like, ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. So, yeah, you've I've got done all that. the weird things that I've got. 
<laughs> so, like for me, I I've, I've brushed my teeth with a uh, stranger's toothbrush before, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> okay. Would you rather eat poison ivy or a handful of wasps? <laughs> oh fuck! They god. Damn. Handful of wasps. Like to, yeah, I'm going handful of wasps. Because <laughs> I can at least crush them. Yeah, poison ivy. Well, I feel like that's gonna kill you. That you would. That. So, as someone who has is definitely allergic to poison <laughs> ivy, um, and has had to literally get a shot in their butt every day for a month to get over poison ivy. I'm going to go with poison ivy. And the reason being is, is, um, let's get done and over with real quick and then go get a shot. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine. Maybe it's stomach acid. What, what, what are you saying? You're I'm saying, saying I'm going to eat the poison ivy despite being you're definitely allergic to it. going to eat the poison ivy? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that's I, I didn't see that going that way. I didn't either. Yeah, I know. That's why I set it up that way. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I, um, as someone who dealt with poison ivy last year, uh, yeah, and we'll have to deal with it this year. Um, uh, I guess wasps, but I can't. Both. I can't. Uh, I can't imagine having an itchy mouth. Yeah, that'd be rough. Oh god, yeah. Oh, too bad. That's the one you picked. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. So the next one, hypothetical. The next one is just more awkward. Uh, would you rather sit on a stage while 100 people sing "Happy Birthday" to you, or make a joke in front of 100 people and no one laugh? Oh, Happy Birthday! Yeah, Wait, say happy that birthday. again. Sorry. Uh, so, would you rather sit on a stage while 100 people sing "Happy Birthday" to you, or make a joke in front of 100 people and no one laugh? Uh, the joke. You'd rather do the joke than the Happy Birthday. Oh, that sounds. That sounds so good. As long as, like... <laughs> so, in, in this situation, I'm imagining, like, there's there's a setup, there's a process to it. So, you have mm -hmm. to make the decision, and then there's, like, prep that goes into it. So, I would really enjoy trying to write a joke that a hundred people wouldn't laugh at. <laughs> Yeah, that would probably be a good challenge because I feel like even people would give you like a pity laugh or a nervous right. laugh or something. Right, so, so it's got to be some shit that doesn't even deserve a pity laugh or a pity chuckle. Jer my favorite thing is Jairus is just really actually excited for this moment yeah. of yeah. just deafening silence. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start writing right now. So for me, like, <laughs> well, it well, was I've a decision between... Up. And yeah. even with bad stand-up, there's somebody going like... <sighs> So yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, for me, I was kind of like, "Huh? Do I want to be personally embarrassed, or do I want to be embarrassed for everyone else around me?" So that's kind of why I was like, oh, "Happy birthday!" I could be more embarrassed for everyone else. So my deal with happy birthday is, I feel like the more people, the more people you add, the less awkward it becomes. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like when you're in a room with like two people and they're singing happy birthday to you, then it's super weird. awkward. <laughs> then it's like, okay, what are you guys doing? Just it's my just family the, of like five people. Yeah, but you take happy birthday up, then it's like, oh, look at all these people are wishing me happy birthday. That's really cool, you know. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> But I feel like making a joke that no one laughs at is my worst nightmare. Because <laughs> that's like, how I get through life, just by making jokes. <laughs> if you succeeded at writing, at like delivering and executing with confidence a joke that a room full of people didn't laugh at and you owned it, you would like be Andy Kaufman levels of anti-humor or like a, a it's true. comedy. That is true, I guess. What we got next? Did Hutch answer it? Uh, yeah, you said birthday. Birthday, yeah. Birthday? Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. All right. Uh, would you rather experience the beginning of planet Earth or the end of planet Earth? Oh, definitely the end. Yeah, I would say the end. Is it like in the span of my lifetime or, or do I get to experience it, it as like a compressed event? Um... Because the beginning would... of planet Earth is like four billion years of dust floating closer to itself. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say we can be compressed. I would watch a time elapsed video of the beginning of the planet Earth. 
So yeah, the, uh, watching that would be fine. If that's the case, I, I agree the beginning's better. But if I'm just or like living in the experiencing it. <clears throat> yeah, Either way, you're going to die. Probably yeah. the end of the universe. That would be interesting. Yeah. Like, I want to see how. Like, I'm, we kind of know how it started. Like, we have an understanding. But, but we don't know which wizard cast the spell. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God, I, I want to say the beginning. Um, But, yeah. I'm, oh, God, I don't know. I want to say the beginning. Because okay. I don't think I want to <clears throat> live with, like, the dread of knowing that, like, anxiety that death is coming. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's fair. You're gonna hate this next question. It's <laughs> yeah, coming for all of us, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather see the end. Um, and on to the last question I have: um, <clears throat> Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? <laughs> when? Okay. I, I would like to plan out things. <laughs> Get all your vacation time in before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll stop putting off that trip to Japan. How, I think. Because I think how would be the more interesting thing to know. I would say how as well, because there might, I don't know, in my mind, there might be a chance that I could change it. Like if it's health related or something, I could maybe like change my ways. Or if it's like you fell off a cliff while looking at the Grand Canyon, I'd be like, well, I'm not going to the Grand Canyon. And we'll just see like how we could alter the timeline based on if you know how you died. So you are expecting a final destination situation here. What do you mean? So they like in Final Destination, the movie, they see how they're going to die and they decide to not do it right before it happens. Mm -hmm. And then death constantly chases them one by one through the movie and they die in different ways. I don't think death will chase me because death is not a thing. Okay. (laughs) Well, that can haunt me. (laughs) I'm not. So, yeah, Uh, I'm not. Death if ain't th- people, th- Michelle. Yeah, death ain't people. <laughs> if this is uh, in this hypothetical question of knowing your fate one way or the other, if fate exists in that realm, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, how uh, when because uh, if fate exists like that, then yeah, I want to know when and how much time I got. Okay. The countdown, like I at that point, I'm go- however I'm going well, to die. It's whatever. I think- I think it's it's a different of ideology because like Michelle and Hutch say when, assuming that they would then plan their lives accordingly to to make maximum use of that time. But I, I think that means that your death is a fixed point in space. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas if your death is like how you died, that could be... <clears throat> Agreeing with Brittany, that could be pushed out, that could be avoided, or that could be interacted with. And also, I think that would be a really fun anecdote to just have in my back pocket. Like, oh yeah, yeah. And by the way, I'm going to die it when a glass ceiling collapses and like shards of glass penetrate my brain. Mm-hmm. That's why yeah. I don't go into buildings with glass ceilings. <laughs> Huh. Or he just <laughs> wear, wear a construction helmet. <laughs> no, just don't look up. That's the key. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got it. Uh, no, for me, I, I, I just kind of like, hmm. Uh, I feel like the fixed point thing is going to happen either way. And knowing how doesn't matter. So if, if you knew that you had, f- mm-hmm. like, that you were going to die in 13 months, mm-hmm. what would you do different? Like, how would that change your life? Um, in the current the, world. As a right, uh, so that the hard part there. As of right now, <coughs> nothing. Because, nothing. No, like, can't do shit. The things that we want to do, I think, like, for me, the things I'd want to do before I die was travel and see a bunch of shit. But we can't right now. <laughs> so, right. I don't know. My life probably wouldn't change that much. I'd probably be way more irritable about it, you know? Yeah. I'd be, like, super pissed all the time. I probably would just say, fuck it and do it anyways. If they'd let uh, you, I don't know. Depending on the situation. Drive my car in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving to Australia. <laughs> so well, this is my other question, too. If you knew how you died, would you take more risks doing things that weren't related to your death? 
Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? Like maybe like, oh, I'm not gonna bungee jump because that might snap and kill me. But <clears throat> you learned you died of like something else. Uh huh. Well, it it you, depends you, on what it like how much information you get because if it's mm-hmm. just like, uh, you suffocate. Ah, that, shit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's like you ooh, die okay. of an infection. Fuck. How would I get that infection? Nope, you got yeah. one question. Yeah. What's the details? Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> like that's not even informative, which is why I picked when. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what if they told you in a time scale that you didn't understand? Oh, that's going to fuck with my brain ooh. for a while now. <laughs> Yeah, like, what if they told you, what if you're like, when am I going to die? And they were like, four trillion nanoseconds from now. Uh, yeah. Or like, four like, trillion, I mean, five hundred and thirty nine thousand three hundred and eighty one point six five seconds from now. Yeah, I'd do the math real quick, you, but that would suck. you try to, but the numbers would slip out of your head, and you're like, ah, fuck. Yeah. I get, I get, I get like a, a roundabout. Like, ah, oh, fuck, I, I, and I, then I, fall down the stairs. And then die. <laughs> Well, yeah, those are my questions this week. All right. Um, well, thanks. I hope you guys all have something to think about while you're in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have swaths? fingernails made out of cheese or a skeleton made out of noodles? Fingernails, fingernails made out of cheese. Made out of cheese. Mm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Fingernails of cheese. That's not that bad. What if it was I'd, a cheese I'd, that you didn't I'd like? try playing Quap. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, if uh, if you have any more like would you rather questions, put them in the chat for us. Put them in the um, comments. Wait, we've got a chat. Are we live streaming? Ah, we're, <laughs> we're live. live streaming. We're live right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Take we'll do it live. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 You got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hello, uh, welcome back. And um, I didn't have much to talk about, except uh, I guess what I've been doing the past two weekends, which has been living in my living room, playing Ooh. Final Fantasy VII. Um, and... Uh, basically, I got a new TV, and I said, Final Fantasy's come out. Now's the time to get a new TV. Um, and it's really good. It's a, it is a 65-inch OLED from LG. Yeah. Ooh. It's so... How dark are them blacks? Tell, oh, me, tell, tell me how deep them blacks go. Infinite contrast. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's you've been really talking good. about you've been talking about getting an OLED TV since as long as I have known you. I feel like, um, yeah, I've been prepping for it. And I was just like, well, I'm I'm staying at home. The games that I really want to play are out now, and mm-hmm. that might as well. Why why wait? So, <laughs> uh, so I, I did it. Um, is this sitting on your where your old <clears throat> TV was, or are you mounting it yes. anywhere? No, okay. it's, no, yeah, it's, it's sitting it, in the same stand. Did you put it above your old TV? <laughs> Hell no! You like did, three, did you remove three, that three small TV deep. that's above your other old TV? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so back in the day, I used to think that like it was super redneck to have like two TVs sitting on top of each other. You put like the new TV on top of the broken old TV or whatever, and like that's like the most modern equivalent of it now. now. You're like it's fine. <laughs> And well, now, I can't say anything. Now we she's still a streamer, Dab. Yeah. yeah, Dab. There are no joke four TVs in my living room right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is below stupid. I am so. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, but oh god. So we had the most like insane time trying to put it on the stand. Mm-hmm. Um, so normally like TVs, I, 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 um, I assume that, you know, you, the, with the box, you pull it up, you know, lift that box up from the bottom. The TV sits in the cardboard base at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did that, uh, rather than open it from the top. 
Uh, and the instructions were not great on how to, like, assemble, like, or, like, attach it to the stand, because the TV levitates a little bit on the stand. It doesn't, like, slot into any, like, part of it. <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. You got a witchcraft TV? <laughs> <laughs> What do you see how thin it is? Um, <laughs> Let me. Is, is this is this TV made of magnets? <laughs> no, uh, no, that's their wallpaper TV. Okay. What? God damn it! <laughs> What's I, for, I forgot about the ultra thin TVs. <laughs> so, so they they for reference, they make a, a, a TV called the wallpaper TV, and it's literally just like the panel, which is like a millimeter or two thick. And yep. it the the TV stand is just a metal like you know like thing that sits flat against the wall, yeah. and oh. magnets are on the panel like behind it. So you just like you know align it and then put it against the wall, and it stays there. Brittany, are you Neat. also feeling like you had a stroke and missed forty five <laughs> years of television development? I think so. <laughs> because <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so. Uh, like yeah, me and Hutcher, I think the only ones that in TV here that really give a shit about TVs. <laughs> so I'm, I, I actually they, was not expecting to buy as many like HD TVs as I have in my life so far. I'm up to my third one, so a uh, big TVs. Yeah. So I bet Brittany was <laughs> expecting that. I am now. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, though, is when we went up to Mag and somebody was like, I have seven like TVs. They're extremely large and extremely old. Um, <laughs> they use them at like in movie studios. Um, I don't know if they work or not. I don't know how to use them, but I'll give you all seven of them for free. And Michelle was like, yes, please. I will take all of them. <laughs> Didn't we I leave split them, them up all there? They no, no, no. Up. These they are the PVMs. sent to like, different people, but we brought two of them home. Yeah, yeah. Those are the giant PVMs that I own. Uh, those are like super, like, if I wanted to buy one of those, it would have been like $1,000. Yeah. So. <laughs> but so what basically, does it do? <laughs> it's, it's a perfect a retro gaming system it. TV. <laughs> I do use one of them. The other one I don't. Mm -hmm. It definitely has that like that redneck vibe because they are sitting on top of each other. But we should tell them about the tiny little end table that you bought off of Facebook Marketplace that was way too small for them. <laughs> yeah. And you have both of them stacked up on top of this tiny little end table. The TVs were like hanging off of it. And it looked like a trap to kill both of our cats. Like, <laughs> yeah, because the cats, the cats kept trying to lay under it. Like, and I was like, oh, area. don't, maybe don't. How much do you, would you say those TVs weigh together? Um, so I know for a fact that they weigh 160 pounds together. Mm -hmm. they're, um, they're 80 pounds each. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. They're hefty they, boys. They, they, they ain't like. Um, thankfully they have handles. So when you <laughs> like, buy a new television, are you looking for a, a girthy television or like a thick television? Ooh, you know, I like Do you look for length or width? <laughs> <laughs> you want a TV so, that really fills you up. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine putting a cube in your ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? That's that's Hold the on. kind of Where that's are we the going kind of Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we made we made a lot of like innuendos here, and I just went like blunt. Which Sorry. TV model is best to fit up the ass? What size <laughs> is that? Where going? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go yeah, with that's, uh, that's this topic. I'm now. gonna go. Which game controller would you put in your ass? <laughs> okay, <laughs> obviously the Wii. Obviously the Wii is the no. best one. But ha! I tricked you. It's actually the Nintendo Switch Joy Cons. <laughs> no, I still would prefer the like the, Wii. the Wii Mote is better because uh, it's got less shit to grab onto. Do you have to put the whole controller up your yep. ass, or can you just put? Hmm. Yeah, I think <laughs> the Wii would be easier. You have to walk around with it. <laughs> yeah, definitely the Wii. You have to act normal at a party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I, Wii is I, the only choice, really. <laughs> What's I don't their know, secret? Oh, can, they have I'll, a Wii Mote up their ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. 
<coughs> we can still have the safety strap hanging out so we can pull it out. <laughs> yeah, you don't want it getting stuck in there. No, you don't want that. That's that's not good. I mean, if you're really worried about that, the N64 controller is for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like a yes. rectal grappling hook. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm like looking around. Yeah, you're looking around at the controllers. <laughs> what if I can be a PC gamer for the day and just put a mouse? <laughs> just, just a up mouse there? up my yeah. ass. Not the animal though, just No, the, we're no Richard tech, Gears over tech, here. <laughs> that's not true. It doesn't matter. <laughs> god. Richard's Gears. <laughs> we're gonna get in a so, libel lawsuit with the Richard Gear estate. Okay, so now now that we're talking about this, no, hold on. You now we're talking about this. this way. No, hold on. Let's go, let's mix uh, a, a famous old show that doesn't exist anymore with this. Which amiibo would you stick up your ass? I think the easiest choice is Kirby. Any. Luigi. <clears throat> oh, Luigi. Yeah, he is kind of like. Like a like a bullet, but no, I'm thinking like uh, I'm thinking Kirby would be best. I'm looking at my amiibo shelf over here. I know Hutch has stuck all of those up his ass at one point or another. <laughs> so Breath of the Wild look, Zelda look, would be not pretty a good too. Thing. <laughs> no, no, it's just an appreciation, <laughs> right? <laughs> the um, <laughs> the, the Link's Awakening one would be all right if it weren't for the ears. Oh yeah, Isabel. Oh. It would be someone See, else's awakening. <laughs> yeah, Not it would in a be. sexual way, just the no. realization that they enjoy putting things up their ass in a non-sexual it's, way. <clears throat> yeah, and there's okay. no shame if it, if it is in a sexual way. Uh, how about the Yoshi's yarn one? <laughs> it's soft. No, that'd be hard to get up there. Yeah, it, it would, would also be, but, be hard but, to clean it, afterwards. It's pliable. Yeah, it's pliable exactly. But you're not looking to put yarn up your ass. That's not a thing. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm not looking to put up my ass that we're talking about putting up my ass today. Wow, well, I'm sorry you took it there. <laughs> Someone take it somewhere else then. If you want to <laughs> challenge, there's the Mega Yarn Yoshi. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mega That's... Yarn Yoshi. That thing's huge. What's your favorite channel on your new TV? <laughs> <laughs> God, all of them. <laughs> I Dude, like, eight, uh, nice transition. I, I really want you all to come over and like see that like HDR stuff on there. I watched Jurassic okay. Park the other night or Jurassic oh, World. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty legit. <clears throat> the shit gets like so bright. Like it's almost blindingly bright. <coughs> hmm. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to burn yeah. out my retinas. I mean, you already stared at the sun, Brittany. Well, that's true. <laughs> we, we already <laughs> stared at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> We did no, this Brittany, as a family. We did do that as a family. But no, Brittany, Brittany regularly will, I'll, if we're like out in the country or whatever. I don't I'll, do it anymore. That's not true. I, I, will, I will catch you just staring at the sky. One time as a kid, I stared at the sun and then I grew up 20 years later and told Michelle about it and now she won't let me live it down. It's true. And then you got really good at math, but then you drilled a small hole in your head. So now you're not good at math anymore. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, you know what? I will also share the shame. I, I did that as a kid, too. See, everybody does it. I didn't do it. I also pushed my fists into my eyes, like the eyelids, until I saw colors. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. <laughs> the uh, nightmare yeah. week. <laughs> this has been kind of nightmare week so far. Speaking of nightmares, let's just let's go ahead. Yeah, we're done with this one. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see us perform live? Use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Heat Wave. Hi. Uh, today, I found out that <laughs> it's my friend anniversary with Hutch. And because I woke up first and did the test first, <laughs> he has to do it now. I'm so, so lucky. Hutch, um, I only got a sixty percent on this. You 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 have a pretty you have a good chance of getting this. Um, You're nine nine percent less from a perfect score. I'm very disappointed I, in you. I know it's not nice at all. Um, how how do you feel? What's your confidence level before going into this friend anniversary quiz? How confident are you in your friendship? Yeah, sixty nine percent confident. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. So nice. All right. Yes. Well, uh, let's you have to describe to us what yeah, because we can't see we it, can't so you have to it. describe the things. 
Yep, I'll do it. All right. Um, all right. Clicking play now. All right. All right. Which photo was tagged first on Facebook? The first one is a picture for a Mega Manathon 3, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the second one is from uh, our trip to Charleston to see the solar eclipse. So that's an easy, easy one. Mm -hmm. um, actually, hey, I'm I trying to find you in this picture. Which one? Uh, I'm I'm in the background. I'm like you're just the ever present spirit of Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like in the background. You you can see it better like at the end of it for some reason. Huh. Okay. Yeah, because it's mainly me and Jess. But that that yeah. is a success. How many success. Facebook groups are you both in? Oh uh, yeah, like this one. This one was fun. 12, 16, or five. <clears throat> um, Brittany, apparently Guy Fieri raised over twenty million dollars for out of work restaurant employees, which okay sounds impressive. Probably isn't a lot of money, and I don't know how I feel about him being a good human. What the fuck does that have to do with what we're doing right now, Jerris? <laughs> <laughs> just, just staying on brand. <laughs> You know what? I, I'm not going to shit on Guy Fieri. Uh, I really enjoy uh, his food choices. Yeah, that's that's always and, been like, a grand struggle you, with Jairus. me and Guy Fieri. Is like, uh -huh. I love diners, di drive-ins, and dives. Because yeah. if I had a food show, that would be what I would want to do. Um, uh -huh. It's just the, the hair and the face and the donkey sauce. His entire brand. <laughs> so yeah. when I was when I was in Portland, uh, me and a, my coworker, we decided all of our food would be based on Guy Fieri recommendations, all of it for the entire mm. trip. So we went that to seems like a good move. So we went to restaurants that were on drivers, drivers, and dives, and every time we got exactly what Guy ordered, <laughs> and every single time it was one of the best meals I've ever had. I, yeah. bet, there was a, I bet we could build that site. Yeah? No, that site exists. Oh, <laughs> restaurants Guy Fieri has gone to? Yeah. Yeah, and we used it as a reference. <laughs> <laughs> I like something it's... Oh. Food Network should do. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's a really yeah. good content opportunity for Food Network, especially since they have... There is a website called Flavortown USA. <laughs> yes. Oh! Yes. The destination Real is good. in our hearts. Let's see. So, Hutch, what's the next question? I think 27 <laughs> is the answer. No. I'm not even in that many groups. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say 12. So Yeah. What is he's, it? Ar he's already ahead of me because I said 27. Because <laughs> I'm in a shit ton of groups. So I assumed he was too. Which photo has the most likes on Facebook? The left one is from us... Uh, Waiting uh, in amazement uh, last mm -hmm. year for the Sailor Moon voice actress uh, panel. Okay. And the right one is a picture of uh, the Heat fam with uh, Chub Rock Geek. Yeah, it's when Chub Rock showed up to town. I think Juggle Boy's in it, too. Juggle Boy is in it, yep. Um, oh, this is a little <laughs> bit of a toughie. I'm going to say the right one. Yeah. Oh man. So now all he he's matched. Right now me we are both at 60%. And we're about to all find he out has to do is get friend. one more right and he's a better friend than me. <laughs> there's a there's a an app for Flavor Town USA that you can download on your mobile device. <laughs> I'm so happy that Jerris is completely I'm just not right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can we, is is there a place locally that we can go check out as a family? Yes, it there's doesn't several. look like it. No, there's oh. there's a. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing a bunch in Charlotte, but nothing yeah. in Raleigh. Oh, I'll check it out. I thought I was remember there being a bunch Charlotte's in the area. Not that far away, is it? It's like you know two and a half two hours. hours. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, if we want to go by man versus food, there's like three places there that we could check out okay i know i went to one place in north carolina that he went to called the penguin that had really good uh pickle chips and uh pickle chips yeah fried pickle chips and uh they had like a, just a decent ass fucking reuben 
That was honestly Decent my least favorite place I've been to. <laughs> Decent ass fucking Reuben. It's yeah. my favorite review of a restaurant ever. <laughs> we should drive two and a half hours away because they have a decent ass fucking Reuben. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. would make me so sad. Oh, sorry, <laughs> right. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a Reuben boy. Uh, well, what? Uh, what's the next question then? You can tell yeah, us what you many, are there. How many mutual friends do we have on Facebook? 173, 105, 379, which was absolutely incorrect, and 21. No. Um, I think I've actually seen this. And I think it was 105. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say 105. Yeah. Yeah, he Ooh. beat me. He's a better friend like, than me already. He's a better friend. <laughs> I've only got like 500 likes or 600 some friends, so it's like, yeah, not that many. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's see if you can. Can you commit to a hundred percent hutch? <clears throat> well, this is gonna be tough. <clears throat> Which okay. photo of you has the most comments? And they gave given us three photos. First one is from uh, uh, our first trip to too many games. They're not letting me. Uh-huh. We got Ralphington, Nerd Dad, uh, you, me, and Brittany's in there, and someone else with the Zima. I think it's Will. Yeah, um, Zima party. There is us uh, all neon uh, gl- glow sticked out um, mm-hmm. for the animazement rave. That was a that fun was night. Fun. Uh, and then there is the bald boy trio uh, <laughs> with uh, you, me, and shy guy. Yeah, we did the evolution of uh, uh, beards. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Ah, jeez, I'm going to say the bald boy trio. Mm-hmm. No! Oh, it nope. was really the animation 80%. <laughs> yeah, the animation <laughs> one got me by surprise, too. I did the uh, Too Many Games one, and it, it was wrong. People were really mm. excited about our rave, I guess. I know. We look so good. <laughs> well, you know what they say? It's been a long day without you, my friend. So and I'll tell I you all about it when I see you again. When the quarantine is over, we should pick a city to go to. As oh, yeah. a group friendship thing and just eat at a bunch of Guy Fieri restaurants. Um, I'm absolutely I'm down. 110% down with this. I will say Phoenix was fantastic. <laughs> but I'm yeah, down to go somewhere else. Phoenix, everyone. <laughs> Phoenix, also, we do have a friend that lives we there. Should go, yeah, we, we should go do. to like a non-major city. Well, yeah, that's probably like a, a good two idea. City or a <clears> two <throat> city? Especially a non-major <clears> city <throat> who <throat> doesn't believe in the virus. Phoenix doesn't believe in the virus. Yeah, they're basically well, they are they're like the live free or die kind of fucking shit. That's New Hampshire. No, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they they're just very very like oh don't fuck up my freedoms kind of thing. Freedom so. includes the decision to kill yourself and everyone yes. around you. Uh huh. I'd be more worried about those worms they have out there. Are you oh, making the, a tremor the joke? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just wanting to like Kevin meet Bacon Kevin Bacon? Can't save us all. Kevin Bacon it's can't true. melt steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> wow, That's so that we know of. Yeah, he's. <laughs> that we know of. Salt Lake I mean, City, he could. Utah melt- might be a good place to go. For I mean, yeah, uh, Utah. There ain't jack shit going on there. <clears throat> yeah, but there might be, be some good find booze. Yeah, yeah. It'd ha- be hard to find, like, good food, maybe, even. No, but for, for, like, I'm looking at Utah Guy Fieri locations. Mm-hmm. There's some good stuff. Okay, well, then, I'm down. It's just, just like a subway. You know what? <laughs> pretty, pretty. <laughs> what? What if we fucking... There's a place called Curry Pizza. <laughs> That sounds delicious. I no, I don't like that. <laughs> what if we just instead of traveling to like fun and interesting places, why don't we just go to bumfuck nowhere and get some Guy Fieri food? As long as they have weird roadside attractions, I'll be satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So heat family oh. road trip. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sounds that sounds kind I'm of amazing. Down. We can make like a mix. Mm-hmm. A oh, mix we tape. could get we could get like an RV. Mm-hmm. Who can sponsor us for this? Yes. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone else to pay for our our weird trip. Okay. I'm going to look into this for real. Okay. Let's do it. Slipstream, call us. Yeah. <laughs> Slipstream, call us. Squarespace, it's time for you to make our website beautiful. <laughs> make your dreams come I wonder, true. I wonder if we could get Casper mattresses in the RV. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because uh, I I can't live out mine now. We don't have make your dreams a reality with yeah, Casper we mattress. We have a Casper mattress. Oh, whoops! I thought we had a purple bed. <laughs> no, it's Casper. My bad. I do build it, it beautiful it with well. purple. <laughs> <laughs> Gleam purple twitch. I don't know. All right. Well, Whoa, bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. We learned that Hutch is a better friend twitch. than me and that we don't know what to talk about anymore. <laughs> Happy 11 years, Michelle. We got, we got, we got, 11 years. Oh, we got 19. Before we yeah? go, Michelle, can uh-huh. we talk about how Peter May blew out his butt cheek doing gardening? What? <laughs> Did you see that? No, I haven't seen it. What are you talking about? Peter May is hospitalized because he uh-huh. gardened too hard and tore some muscles in his butt. You know what? <laughs> when when he when when that man now he can only asked, half-ass anything. <laughs> when that man asked and found out how he would die. He said when, and he did not know. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know who this is, but it's no less funny or all the same. (laughs) Well, with that, bye, everybody. Bye. See you next week. Like, comment, subscribe. Damn it. (laughs) 